All right, so we're back with another portable shower build here. This one is version 2.0. I simplified things a little bit and listened to a lot of your comments from the last video with some suggestions on how to make this thing better. So I took the tubing off of the lid that used to be on the first version and I moved the quick connector to the top rather than put it on the lid. And that really simplified things and allows you to fill up the jug a lot easier without the tubing getting in the way. For this version, I'm using a scepter jug. I'm building this for someone who's in the military who requested some upgraded parts. So we're gonna make this one even better than before. So we're gonna drill from the top using a one half inch drill bit. And we're just gonna get that hole started because then we're gonna come in with a step bit. And I'll be sure to put all the links to these special parts in the description below. But we're gonna use the step bit to make the hole wide enough for the quick connector to fit in there. So you go almost as wide as it'll, it'll let you go, but don't go too wide, you know, better to go slow and not drill the hole too big. But once you get it to the right size to where you can fit that quick connector in there, uh, you know, test it first before you connect your tubing and everything to make sure it fits. But once you have it just sitting in there, then you're gonna wanna take your tubing, your 3 8 inch ID tubing, and measure it to go from the top to the bottom of the jug, and then you're gonna cut it at that point. Then it should just slide right on to the barb that's connected to the quick connector there. And then you'll take a hose clamp. And again, all the links to these parts are in the description. Then you slide your hose clamp on before you put it in the jug. And then I use the drill to tighten it down, but you can use a screwdriver or whatever. Just don't tighten it too much because you'll crack the plastic. But once you have the hose clamp on, then you can take the tubing, stick it into the hole that you drilled out with a step bit. And then there's a washer that you're gonna slide on through the tubing. Just kind of stick your hand in the jug and it should just kind of go up there with no problem and tighten down on the bottom of the quick connector. Now, you're gonna take the half inch drill bit again and you're gonna drill a hole for the grommet. This is where the wire will stick out and connect to the battery. So you'll drill a hole towards the top of the jug and then you're gonna to wanna to wobble it out a little bit cause it's not exactly wide enough, just a half inch. So if you just kind of spin it around a little bit, it should fit the grommet. Then take the pump, stick it inside of the jug and the back of the wire will poke through and that's when you'll take the grommet and slide it over the wire and start screwing it into the hole that you drilled with the half inch bit. I took a pair of pliers and really tightened it down nicely so it's really snug. Now after you get that on there you'll take the top half half of the grommet and just tighten it down and then the wire will stay in place. Now you'll connect the tubing to the pump. So reach in there, grab the tubing, get a hose clamp, slide it over the tubing first, and then push it onto the pump. And then just get ready to tighten the hose clamp down. But again, uh, don't tighten it too much because the pump is made of plastic, and if you tighten it too much, you could crack it, and that would ruin the pump. So slide it over and tighten it down. And once you have that all nice and tight, it's time to build your hose. You're gonna use the end of the hose that has the male threads exposed. I cut the hose at about a six foot length. Just make sure you cut it straight. And then you'll take the other quick connector the male quick connector and the hose barb on the end of it, you'll slide into the hose where you just cut it and make sure you put your hose clamp on first so then you can tighten that down and now your hose is pretty much ready to go. 
you can see it just simply clicks in and clicks out with the push of a button. It's really convenient. Now you'll be building your plug head and you'll need a little mini screwdriver and all these little parts are in the description below. You can buy them on Amazon. So the brown wire is positive and the blue wire is negative. You'll just put them into the right ports on the plug head and tighten it down. Make sure you get it good and tight because they can slide out if they're not tight enough. So just test it a few times, make sure it's tight. Now you're almost done. You're gonna take the battery and this one I used an upgraded battery. It was a six, uh, 6,000 milliamp battery. So it'll last longer. And you'll plug the plug in. And now all you have left to do is screw the hose head on and it's pretty much ready to go.